Hi everyone, welcome back to Some for Seb. It's just a quick video today because uh, as the previous video stated, I'm selling the Bandit. I already washed it, waxed it, polished it, did the chain. I'm about to do an oil change so that the new owner gets uh, pretty much a brand new bike. All we're going to need today is a foam mat to, for your butt to be comfy. Uh, container to for your oil. I've got this practical one. You put this on here, and it drains directly in. No mess. It's pretty nice. Tool kit to undo the bolt for the oil pin at the bottom of the bike. I'm just changing the oil today, so I'm not going to be doing the filter. And a roll of shop towels in case uh, there's a mess or anything of that nature that comes up. So here's the beautiful bandit. And usually if you were going to do a filter and oil change, you would come at the front here. Move this pipe out of the way that comes out of your radiator and the filter is right in there so you access it from this side there's a lot more space unscrew it put a cloth underneath it so that uh, you don't put a bunch of oil on your pipes make sure you run the bike for at least five minutes to get the bike warmed up and the oil will drain a lot easier that way but for today I'm just changing the oil the filter is brand new there's only a thousand kilometers on it so I'm not going to be changing the filter I'm just going to change the, the oil and for that you will need a 17 millimeter socket to remove the oil bolt plug and the bolt itself is under the bike right here. So remove that bolt, drain the oil, and make sure that you take your oil filler cap off so that there's airflow going through. And the oil filler cap is on this side if no one knew that one. Haha. <laughs> so the oil had finished draining out mostly, so we dumped in some new oil just to finish flushing it and there was a lot more black oil that came out so we're just waiting for that to finish draining now and then we will put all the new oil in. It's starting to snow here. It is minus four degrees Celsius which is just below 30 Fahrenheit. We're trying to finish this up quick. Uh, to fill it back up, I just use a simple funnel and an old juice jug. I used a measuring cup inside with water to get my increments. And there's a lid on top to keep the dirt and or any debris out because I don't have the luxury of having a garage. So um, I try to take uh, any precautions I, I can to keep any debris out of my oil. So we used a black felt marker just to mark the juice jug so we can easily measure it. That's 2,000 mils and that requires 3,000 milliliter without the filter change so I'm gonna go ahead and put two liters and then another liter after and see if the level is good. If it's good then we're done. Just 
Just finishing up the last little bit to fill up the the oil on the 2007 Suzuki Bandit 1250S. So I've already leveled the bike and checked the, le the levels. Everything is up to the full line. And that's it. Put your filler cap back on. And you are done. Less than 10-15 minutes. Easy to do by yourself. You don't need to pay someone else to do that one for you. Alright, so the last little bit. Uh, you want to start your bike up. Let it run a bit to get the oil to circulate through the engine. Turn it off and then wait three to five minutes for the oil to go back in the oil pan and check your level again. Check the drain plug to make sure there's no leaks and go around your whole motorcycle to make sure everything's good. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.